Christina Tetro joins us live at Sal's Mexican Restaurant in Selma, and she is making tamales. Good morning, Christina. Good morning. A whole lot of food that it is. Look at the spread we have here so far at Sal's. Not only do we have an entire production line, but look at how many have been made this morning already by some of their ladies. And let me tell you, they weren't even going 100%. So a lot of food is exactly what we have this morning. And I have some help by the lovely Lorraine of Sal's. Thank you so much for, you know. Feliz Navidad, Christina. Thank Welcome. you. So she's going to help me as we're making the tamales right here. So actually, Miss Lorraine, this is perfect. So what step am I, am I in right here when it you comes to making? You are in the beginning step. You are spreading the, the masa spreading on the, masa the corn husk. On the corn husk, okay. And you're doing it in a consistent ratio, you know, really kind of thin, not very, very thick. Okay. You're doing a great job. Oh, thank you. You're going to lift that. Okay. So and lifting now the masa. Lydia is going right. to help you. Out. Okay, perfect. So you put the one right and there. you're going to place the little one inside okay. the larger one because right. we use two husks for our size of tamales. Small husk and big husk. Okay, perfect. Now and then you're going to place mole. filling. And the filling is mole, right? Mole. Now, how much should I do? About that, about that. Carl says okay. about that amount. <laughs> Perfect. Get, get it all. Get, get it, it all in there. I mean, this could be like a jumbo tamale, yeah. actually, you know. It's like a burrito tamale. Okay. And then now the meat, Lydia was telling me last time, it's like a good three to four ounces, right? Right. Okay, let's, I have no idea how much this weighs, but That's you know. About, yeah. about three and a half. Okay, perfect. So we'll do that. Is there any proper way, like how I should place the meat? You want to place it in a, a rectangle like you are doing. Oh, yeah. perfect. Okay. So it's spread throughout the masa and through the tamale. Perfect. Length of the husk. Okay. And then now we wrap. Now you are wrapping and you've Wrap. been practicing. I so. have been. You do the small husk first and then you do the big husk and you roll it up like a little blankie, like a little one going to bed. Right. And you twist. Look at that. They actually almost look like flowers. Like a little tamale flower. There we go. All right. Now I want to know from their production team how this looks. Ooh. Looks good. They're being very nice. These women are pros. And I actually have a question. We've got Carl, another owner here. Carl, and again, Miss Lorraine, thank you so much for being my in-between. I've got dirty hands. All right, Carl, I want to know, when it comes to ordering these tamales, how can people order them? Hot. <laughs> order them <laughs> a lot. Well, I mean, well, I mean, just call and place an order for a dozen or two or whatever you want. And uh, you can get them cold, though. So, uh, you know, if hot doesn't suit you and you want them cold if you're not going to eat them right at that time mm -hmm. don't order them hot order them cold because then reheating cool down reheating cool down it just lessens the quality of any type of tamale perfect so you want to get them hot but you can also get them cold if you want to go ahead and heat them up for your party or if you're traveling and also carl i mean it's a family-run business you guys have been in business for quite a while i would say what does it mean to you every year when it's tamale season a lot of work. <laughs> well, you know, it's a family tradition, and uh, we want to keep it going. So it, there's a lot of fun in it, and it brings back a lot of memories for me, and that's what I'm trying to I have instilled with, with my sons and my nephew, uh, Aaron. So uh, it's just we keep it going and going and going, and, you know, awesome. it's just heartwarming. Carl, thank you so much. We're going to make sure to put all of their catering information online at yourcentralvalley.com. But let's give a round of applause, everyone at home, for the incredible production team here at Sal's helping us make tamales this morning. So, uh, Joe, Lauren, don't worry. We're not going to be going hungry. And how do you guys think I did? I mean, I only made that one, but... <laughs> I think make a few more. We'll it, eat those. It looks like the other one, so I'm guessing <laughs> it, uh, it's I good. I think she did okay, yeah. yeah they do a great yeah. job over there, so... Exactly. I think we're fine. So, if, if, I mean, if TV is not working out, I mean, you can always resort to that. There you go. There you go. This is true. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Christina. We appreciate it. Time now.